So hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and let's talk about this match between China and Uzbekistan uh, They were playing in China. This is a really important match uh, If you care about Asian football, so I, I my suggestion to everyone is go recover the highlights on YouTube or the um, Like some kind like go watch the match even if you can if you can recover the match go watch it because it's a really interesting one. This shows you uh, where China is at right now as national team and where Uzbekistan is at as national team. And you can see the strength and the weaknesses of these two teams because we have seen everything in this game. Uh, we have seen why China can basically win every game and lose every game and why Uzbekistan uh, sometimes they seem to fall over a little bit but then they show the strength their strength and uh, um, they are unpredictable sometimes as well even though I, I've always said that in the last period uh, I think Uzbekistan is a top 8 national team uh, in Asian football right now uh, it's one of my favorites to uh, go all the way for the cup and yeah that's not great for me because of course as you know uh, if you don't know i'm a syrian national team fan so yeah uh, they are in the syrian group uh, in the asian cup but before the asian cup we will have the world cup qualifiers um, as you can see uh, right now with china we have south korea and thailand and with Uzbekistan, Iran and Turkmenistan uh, both groups of course will have a fourth team that is going to come out from the first uh, round that is going to be completed during this upcoming week and uh, not during this current week we're already in the in the week of the um, second part of the first round in the Asian qualifiers here I, I forgot something and uh, no and let's talk about the game so basically basically uh the first half china played really well the first half played really well they go ahead i think it was a deserved lead it's way she how the scores at 41st minute where she how puts china ahead and yeah it's a goal from the outside the area china goes ahead uzbekistan tries to push to uh, recover uh, before the end of the first half but they don't then during the second half we see Uzbekistan coming up a little bit more and trying to do what they've done during uh, the last few minutes of the first half and they find a penalty kick with uh, that Otabek Shukurov goes to kick it it's uh, basically it wasn't a great a great uh, a great shot it was in the middle but the goalkeeper doesn't keep it and he scores immediately on the tap in so uh, the game is tied uh, the 78th minute and then eight, min eight minutes after that when China has the opportunity to go ahead uh, again is Jamshid uh, Iskanderov that scores assisted by Abdi Holikov uh, at the 86th minute puts Uzbekistan ahead at that point uh, there is a little bit of nervousness in the game but uh, the game ends with this result so the Iskanderov goal is the game winner, Uzbekistan wins this one. For China, uh, there were a little bit of hopes to recover a little bit after a good game against Vietnam, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I think it was, like Chinese fans should be pretty happy about, uh, this, about this game and how their uh, national team is playing. Uh, about Uzbekistan, uh, they just need to build up on what doesn't work and uh, bring it to the World Cup qualifiers and uh, yeah, the Asian Cup is f f I would say far away still, but not that much. Three, four months is not that uh, long uh, to say, oh yeah, you have time to recover, but you have to focus first on the World Cup qualifiers and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all and I hope to see you all very very soon. Thank you very much.